Hello, I am Jolie Puckett with Floyd Medical Center. In this video, I will take you step by step through the process of giving your own insulin. After you've watched the video, you'll be given materials to practice with. You will be able to watch the video and practice as many times as you need. The nurse will assist you with this. The goal of this video is to provide you with skills and prepare you for success after your discharge from the hospital. I will now show you how to read the lines on a syringe. Insulin syringes come in different sizes. You will need to speak with your pharmacist when you pick up your syringes about their size and unit measure. This is a 100 unit syringe. Each longer line is in 10 unit increments. Each smaller line is in two unit increments. This will be given for long acting insulin when you need larger doses. Now I'm gonna show you the half a milliliter or the 0.5 syringe. These are common and may be used for your short acting insulin. With the 0.5, this holds 50 units. Each long line is five units and you can see on the side it goes 10, 15, 20, 25. Each short line is one unit of insulin. So for instance, if you were gonna give seven units of insulin, you'll pull back above the five and go to the second line past number five. Now we're going to prepare your insulin. Wash your hands with soap and water before laying out your supplies. After you've cleaned your hands, dry with a paper towel. If you do not have immediate access to a sink, hand sanitizer or an alcohol pad may be used instead. For practice purposes, you will not be using insulin. You'll be practicing with water instead. You will need your bottle of water, an insulin syringe, an alcohol pad, and your practice model for injection. Slowly and gently roll the insulin bottle between your hands until the color is consistent and no particles can be seen. We're using water here for demonstration, but it is important that you do this at home with your insulin. Now we will take the top off of the bottle. We're gonna clean the rubber top with alcohol pad. You would do this every time to ensure that it is clean. Remove the plunger cap located at the bottom of your syringe. Pull the plunger back with air equal to the amount of insulin you plan to draw up. For this example, we're gonna pull back 15 units of air because we are gonna give 15 units of insulin. The top of the black plunger will come all the way down to the long line of the number 15. Now we're going to remove the orange cap located at the top of the syringe. If this will expose the needle, be careful when we're moving. Insert the needle one time through the center of the insulin bottle's rubber top. Be careful not to bend the needle. Now we are going to push the air into the insulin bottle while the bottle is still sitting on the table. With a syringe still in the insulin bottle, invert the bottle to draw out the insulin. Pull the plunger down to draw out the liquid. Make sure the needle does not slip out of the insulin bottle. We're gonna draw out the insulin to the line that matches the correct unit dose you need. For this example, we're going to the unit 15. If there is an air bubble, push it back into the bottle and pull back again to the correct dose of insulin. An air bubble will prevent you from getting the correct insulin dosage because air will be filling the space where insulin should be. You may need to push and pull several times to ensure there is no air in the syringe. As you can see, the top of the plunger is at the unit number 15. Once you have the correct unit dosage, carefully remove the syringe from the rubber top. Do not lay the syringe down with the needle exposed. Clean the site that you have chosen to inject your insulin. Gently pinch the practice model and insert the needle. Push the plunger to inject the dose. Count to three. One, two, three. Holding the needle in place, now you can remove. Dispose of the needle into the sharps container that you have chosen. Now I'm going to show you examples of where you can give your insulin. All the red areas are fatty areas that take insulin well. 
First is the abdomen or your stomach. Then we have each of your legs. On the back, you can use the back of your arm or the top of the buttocks. Any area that has a little bit of fat that you can pinch is a good area to use. Always remember to rotate your sides. Now it's time for you to practice. You should have a bottle of water, an insulin syringe, an alcohol pad, and a practice injection model. The staff nurse will instruct you on how to give the real insulin to yourself when the actual dose is due. Practicing self-injection with the nurse will help you gain confidence and become more comfortable when giving your own insulin. A diabetes educator will make contact with you to discuss diabetes in more detail and address any questions or concerns you may have.